everyone, this is WT. Just a quick video over the weekend to prepare you for next week. First of all, all the WA3s that came in on Thursday have been graded, and your grades are on Blackboard, obviously. When you go to your My Grade section of our class, you will see the scores, and next to the WA3, you should see a little, uh, little balloon icon, a little text balloon icon. That's where your comment is. For a few of you, I had a longer document to send, so I probably did it by email. But somewhere, you'll have comments plus your grade. Most of the grades were pretty good, but I did see a lot of folks not quite getting the formatting of the uh, works cited entries yet. Uh, annotations, for the most part, were pretty good. Um, we're not going to do any more annotations uh, this semester, but in 122, it's a feature you often do as well. And in fact, in lots of other classes, uh, annotated bibs are really useful kinds of tools to use as you're writing any kind of a source paper. You've probably had your E1s back for a while now and some folks have been asking about rewriting for a higher grade. Remember the syllabus says you can rewrite either E1 or E2 for a higher grade. Sometimes folks wait till they get both of those essays done before they decide, but if your E1 didn't go very well and you wanted to try it again, I, I'm more than welcome to to looking at a new version of your E1. You do have to let me know what it is you're going to address though. I've talked to a couple folks already and I require that you give me something more than simply, oh I'm going to fix the things that are wrong. I need more than that. It's not just about fixing corrections or making a couple small things. Oftentimes I want to see that you're really responding to the comments I made on the original paper because that's where those points usually come off. So if you want to rewrite E1, just let me know what it is you're going to do and convince me in an email that this is something that will make the paper appreciably better. And I'm happy to look at it again and give it a fresh grade. You can only do this for either E1 or E2 though, so you got to choose one or the other. Since we're talking about the E2, let's talk about next week. Both Tuesday and Thursday are days where we are going to work on the E2. I have this very detailed handout that I will send you today and that Donna Bernheiser will bring around a paper copy of on Tuesday because it will be useful as you work in your small group workshops on Tuesday, October 29th. That's a day when you'll be sharing whatever parts of your draft and your early version of the Works Cited page to the people in your group and we'll have small groups we'll do that in. There's actually two small group things that happen on Tuesday but I'll let uh, Donna Bernheiser tell you all about that. Um, but this handout I'm sending along right now because there are a number of instructions that I think will help you prepare the rough draft itself so you've got the best document possible with you for that important small group workshop day on Tuesday, October 29th. So check this out. I'm attaching it to this email um, and uh, you'll have a chance with the new instructor to work through it on Tuesday in our regular class 105. And then Thursday next week, October 31st, that's going to be another lab day in 316. This is a work day. This is a chance for you to do the finishing touches on your E2s. I really encourage you to work hard that day because you've got a little bit of time to really sit down and focus on making sure you're covering all the parts of what Humble has to say about those five stages of a Rogerian essay. I'm not sure how many paragraphs go into each of those stages, sometimes one, sometimes two. But I really want you to consider our earlier conversation about that chapter, about Humble's five stages, because I'm looking for those things when I grade the paper. I'm thinking, did you do what Humble suggested we do? That's why we had the sample essay on the screen. That's what we talked about that chapter. So when in doubt, go back to the Humble, those pages, those five stages, and think about, am I doing these different stages throughout the course of my paper, and am I getting to all of them? Don't just pick and choose a few stages you want to use. Do all of them. And while you're working on the 31st there in the lab, don't, don't be afraid to swap machines with someone else. Maybe you'll see someone else from your group and you'll want to show them what you've been up to since Tuesday. Also, please ask your new instructor for help. Uh, she's got a brilliant eye. She's a terrific writer, terrific editor, and I know you'll get so much help from her. So if you've got a question, you know, an, an immediate question, call her over. Show her your screen, you know, just like you would do for me. And if you want a little bit extra help from me, just go ahead and hit me with an email. As you uh, know, I'm going to be monitoring my email during every one of our class meetings, so both Tuesday and Thursday during our regular class times. I'll be on my machine or my phone somewhere, and um, if you have any quick questions for me you think I can help you with, please don't hesitate to reach out. 
But Donna Bernheisel's there to help you as well, too, and she's uh, more than qualified. She's been at uh, Chemeketa a lot longer than I have, and uh, you really are in good hands with her. But that's all I have. This is a little video update for next week, and if you have problems or questions, there's my email address, same as always. And uh, let me know if I can help you. Any questions, let me know. Thank you all. Have a great week, and I'll be in touch soon. Bye-bye.